Once again, here we are with my buddy Hank for Bear and Breakfast with Gun Bunny, G-U-N-N, Bunny! And I am playing this game really Bear and Breakfast style. This is a good morning game for me today, so if I feel extra dumb, it's just because I am joining the land of the living. Let's go back to our game. We are on our way to go get Wayne. Oh, this is our little new map. The shark wants to speak to us. I vaguely remember that. It thinks we're people. Always make sure your property is up to Pond Voyage comp uncompromising standards. Press the green button. My standards are as uncompromising as they get. <laughs> Congratulations! You've met the absolute bare minimum requirements of being a half-decent service provider. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows? In a year or ten, you might be on your way to the minimum tax bracket. <laughs> but enough talk about bleak future. Let's talk about the br uh, talk about a bright one. Your next venture with Pond Voyage. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the Pond Network, find your local Pond Shark and just press the green button. There you go. Okay. That will be that one over there. It was suggested to me that the Dawn Rat Father is a vole. And I think that's correct. I am going to believe... It is a vole. I want it to be a possum, though, and now I want Wayne to be a possum, and that's that's a little bit fair. All right. Go to Black Moss from the A24. Look at all my sleeping people. People are neat. Oh, oh, this is a different, I understand why it said go to Black Moss from the A24 now. I get it. I understand. All right, in systematic order, Wayne, Wayne. Good buddy. Wayne. Oh, this gives me new things. Oh, little flowers we get to pick out here. Oh, and a couch to scrap. You know bears love couches. Oh, I can't tell you guys how frustrated I am that it reset all of our sound levels. <sighs> so... Hopefully this one isn't too bad. There might be a weird editing gap in it while I go check my playback. Uh, we'll try. It may be weird for a little bit. I like to hope that's okay. I made like an educated guess. Now it's derailed me from collecting random stuff. I, I can't even enjoy my couch. Can't even enjoy the, the eating and destruction of my couch. Look at flowers. Oh, look, another couch. It's mine. I want it. No one else appreciates it like I do. Giant boulder. There's moss all over it. Good job, Hank. Good job, buddy. Bracing your environment. I know I'm going to mess up forget that I have to go and like register guests <laughs> and then come back and be like oh hotel empty that's bad oops <laughs> you just foresee that 
A washing machine. I know, I should be doing the thing, but we're looting. Oh, that came with lots. Getting all the supplies out of here. Alright. Should return to whatever we were doing. Wayne! Wayne! Oh. Okay, that's an aptigator. Hey, buddy. Hello? Oh, not this. <laughs> oh, not this again. I swear on my tail. What the? What happened this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe? Bad mushrooms? Heard a noise coming from the trees? Oh no, I, I was just looking. Because I hate to break it to you. All trees make noise. They pr That's pretty much all they do. And they sure as hell ain't... <laughs> and they sure as hell ain't doing it for you. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. Okay, clearly Hank has been a problem in the past. I am like a chronic issue in the woods. That's that's what I'm learning. We all have to make sure that Hank doesn't wander into the road. And here, happy hour ain't what it used to be. He's pretty small and I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are we talking? Uh, well he's some kind of rodent. Cause small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh gosh, no, it's a rat. His name is Wade. Oh, I was saying Wayne. Wade? Oh, crickets. Someone came looking for that thing. You should... <clears throat> you should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know where your Wade is. Wade! Unfortunately. Come inside. I inside? Oh, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyways. You know, the funny thing about cooking is you cut it down into pieces. Just commenting. Oh, here we go. And then, just before the tire hit, Boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. I'm so sad he's not a possum. Oh, golly, and then what happened? We got the piece and scrammed. Wow, and what was it like? The thing. Oh, you mean the little old artifact that yours truly sniffed out in less than an hour? Only just about the rustiest cataclysm comforter. Yeah, comforter you've ever seen. Whoa. It stacked too, real bad. It stank too, real bad. We think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. Whoa. Twig, what I'd say about lysing with the cut. Uh, <laughs> Twig, what I'd say. Wow, I can't speak this this crocodile. Twig, what I'd say about lysing with the criminal. Criminal, where? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. Rather unusual one at that. Hi, I'm Hank. Wade, are you Wade? Hello. I mean, no, I'm not. Oh yes he is. A festering, noisy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping him for pickling, if you need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. No, you were not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of him. Shh, child. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. <laughs> uh, sentence I didn't think I'd say. Your boss is worried you're sick. Your boss is worried sick. 
You talk to Master A? You talk to Mr. A? Well, more like slightly preoccupied. I can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back, and he'd let me use the dump so I can get more humans in the valley. He never let any outsiders in the dump. You must be something special, mister. Or I'm pretty harmless. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. This rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But she just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do. But now you want to take him. So there's a value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal lilies for my pickle juice. Hey, I've been picking flowers. You won't find him anywhere else but black moss. Or maybe the bird brain in A24 has some for sale. Just get some, just get some here anyways. Oh. Stock update. Ipswich Wholesale has new items available. Visit the shop to find new items available for purchase. Awesome. All right, bring me back a few and I'll see about jailbreaking your newfound friend. Why don't I have some, so. We were destroying couches. Got what I asked for? A dozen lilies, like you said. One, um, two, uh, yeah, looks right. Good. This better have been worth your time. Because next time, you're taking them back in a jar. <laughs> I bet it, 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 there's something about that imagery that makes it really cute. I don't know why. I like taxidermy, so there are things wrong with me. And paying double. Thanks for helping us out, mister. Miss Charlotte can't bend after the lilies like she used to. <laughs> Shh, child. Charlotte and the half-tailed alligator struck, <laughs> struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary. It didn't always stick the landing. As evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy. Who by their more tiny presence debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try to fit Hank in her big boiling cauldron. That's the hope at least. Sush, shush, child. Alright, Pipsqueak. Yes, ma'am. Scram! Yes, ma'am. Alright, in theory, my sound is okay. I check my thing, it looks okay. You guys let me know if it doesn't quite shake out properly. I promise, when I get to my cup selling, you know, internet life, the first thing I will do is get some playback equipment for my equipment. <laughs> It's good equipment, it's just it doesn't let you check it the way you would want it to. Alright, let's go tell Anton, who we believe is a vole, what went on. So we can get some delicious dump treats. Which is how I choose to see this. And you're not stepping one foot outside of this stinking dump. Not one foot. Yes, ma'am. For a month. Yes, ma'am. First rule of garbageology <laughs> is the cream always rises to the top, so make sure you dig down deep. Claire, obviously the right hand of the operation. Her skill at finding the best stuff is only matched by her loyalty to the old rat. He's a rat. Just a kind of a strange rat. Anton, the boss, seems like a real hard ass. But I guess you gotta be in his line of business. Wade would be closer to the left hand of the sting. Useful in a limited capacity and only under strict supervision. Or at least according to Anton. What a strange bunch. It's a bunch of rats that 
run garbage in a forest. I don't think they're a strange bunch. This is how I imagine this would be. I always say I've had enough of him. Then I remember the advantages of having an extra pair of paws on hand. Like for sending out all wild goose chases. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Hank. You're welcome. Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you were told. But I suppose there's another end to this bargain. And we always keep our word. Good old dump accent. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! We unlocked the garbage dump. I don't get to use the door? Oh, I do. I was like... Really? What, what is the difference? <laughs> Yet? I don't know how to use that yet. Okay. Interesting. It's like a compactor room. Looks like a good place to hide a body. Okay. I understand. This is like a separate unit. There's a whole deal over there. This is just the dump. Well, this just took our scrap collecting up a notch. TV! Something sparkling in me and I don't know how to... Oh, there we go. That's weird. Angle. Issues. I don't know what I can really go around, so... Oh, I'm getting hung up on everything. Well, this is worth it. Where is my road? Road, road, road. I know it wants me to start a new thing, but I want to capitalize on what I already have first, just a little bit better, because I can rework these rooms. And I would like to do that. Is my shark moved? Apparently he has legs underneath everything. Okay, I'm not broke. Let's go check on my humans. Humans, humans. Checking to see if any new blueprints. Does it look like any new blueprints? Because I could totally rework this, and I'm gonna. Oh, we have to go to the build table. Bleh. Okay, I think that puts all my items into um, storage. Occupied for one more day. Cause I think I can do this better. Just need to sort of sham it about. Can I move that door? Oh, can I really? Oh, even better, even better. We're doing this, but we gotta wait for some people to leave. 
Sleep the night. Alright, good luck human beings. Doing great. Back to the work table. It's gonna be an expensive day. But it's for the greater good. Alright, build a room. Okay, this is all recorded in post because I got very focused on building this. It just suddenly made myself stop talking. So I sped everything up. I'm sorry if there are little bits here where occasionally I talk and they go way too fast. But I wasn't even 100% sure what the dimensions of what it would let me do. Like, I was so impressed I could move the door. I was ready for the door to be very, very fixed and I was just kind of stuck with it. And then I want to maximize how much I can do with the room itself um my history with these kinds of games now i don't know if this game falls into that is that they don't really expect you're going to go back and capitalize on for this instance your hotel go back really make it earn for you fill it in pump it up now i don't know maybe these guys have thought this way or they think you're going to do it on a really small level. But I can be quite the power gamer when it comes to reworking spaces and making them really earn for me. I, I like to make the most of what I've got. You've got a little, but you got to make it huge. And that's kind of how I feel about this lodge. And these little economy suites, every time I say it's an economy room, I, I laugh out loud. Um... <laughs> Because I like the concept, you know. I've stayed in some duck hunting lodges that are meant to be. So that's all I think of these little rooms as. These are the duck economy lodges. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's what they be. That's how they do. What I'm hoping, as far as things are concerned, is that each previous location will, in fact, fund my next location but as you're gonna see in a little while when I get to my next location I had to spend so much money making this one high gloss that I don't know what the next episode's gonna be about it's gonna be me wandering around trying to to collect trash and the woods and stuff money is not gonna be our problem I think we need to figure out how to turn money into apple cores and garbage because we're gonna need the raccoons help or else uh, <laughs> I have no plan. No plan at all. I also do my best for uniformity. Um, I don't know. This is like a weird mental health thing for me. Uh, I always go to some sort of place where I find the way I like something to be built. And I build it that way repetitively because it's the most structural. Uh, not always stuff. the most aesthetic. I'm How's always going to make the decision that rooms. I think makes me the most power. But I have no fancy stuff. I got to come over here. No fancy stuff. Gotta get more. And man, do we have some cool fancy stuff. I'd like to pull over and comment on the makers of this game. And thank them for making a nice selection of room decorations. Like, I, I know I'm really early days. And I feel like I have been given so much already open up variety. I also like this cottage cozy stuff. And I know that we're going to get a whole other variety of skins for things that don't necessarily have that cottage vibe. Or if they do, they have a very different feel. So thank you for variety. Thank you, little game, for thinking that that actually matters. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's what makes you huge. I still get this building thing wrong. It, it's, it's not reflexive. Inventory. Let's add some rugs. I know I bought them. Well, I thought I did, but it doesn't look like you counted it. Rug. Rug. Plant. And a lamp.
obviously these rooms need some work. Add some things here. A little empty, a little sparse. Invalid object. Oh, this window would get me in trouble. Let me have a window. There we go. I was like, what did I not do? This will make us so much more money. So much better. I can't remember which way that needs to go. Literally can't remember. My brain has already put that piece of information down. It is gone. Do that, I can fit my jukebox in there. Do do like getting my jukebox in there. Alright, we need two plants, two lamps, two carpets, three extra feature. We buy them from Bon Voyage, maybe. Nope. Two plants. lamps. I like these or these better. I think I like that better. Yeah, let's do one of each. Then we don't have to choose. Towel rack. Interesting. Bookcase, I think. Let's do two of those. One. Two little bookcases, that's cute. Let's do two racks. I guess I should put some rug down the general hall. And we'll grab three of them. Let's go make the hall nice. We might grab a fourth one just so it goes by the desk. I like, I like to put the effort in. I, I think it's important. One, the game seems to like it. Oh yeah, our door's not there anymore. Gonna take me a little bit to adjust. Right, inventory. Let's do some general decor. Oh, it's gonna make me go in. All right, that's fine. I wasn't sure. I get this wrong every time, so why would it matter? Oh, these are extra cute. Okay, well clearly I got them in there somewhere. These are smaller. Okay. Oh, and the bookcase lets me put something on it. Nice. Very nice. That's where my lamp will go. It's a stamping lamp. Well, that can go in that room. Very nice. That one can go there. You, it's a standing plant. 
There's a standing plant for you. Standing plant for you. Okay, I need to go get four more plants to go on a desk. Look at that. Good known. Four more plants. I don't know if I have the cashola for that, but once I do, I'm going to have a full bacon house, so that'll really help. I have enough for four plants? What goes on with me and this raccoon? Just look up and weird stuff's happening. like turns around and attacks me every once in a while. I don't understand. Oh, I'm so happy with this. It looks all full and professional. And I'm still not at the crafting desk. Oh. Well, we don't go like that. Also go on the floor. Alright. You only get two plants. Live with your environment. Hotel looks nicer. I'm good with that. Let's go fill it. Some serious upping of the rooms. Well, we can do lots of people. We can even do people with some fairly nice decor requests. There we go. Look at that. And let's let the money roll in. I'm completely out of garbage, so sort of need some humans to come loot, like cover my space in trash. I'm just on a little adventure for trash. Well, I guess we better go talk to the shark. Actually, let's sleep and talk to the shark because I want to get those people in my thing, to say the least. So I'm going to speed up for a minute and collect some lumber. Because we got a whole new hotel to build. can upgrade this bus stop. Let's do this. Yeah. You can now fast travel over here. I know that will be more relevant later. Is he just fixing his house? Don't mind me, just living the wood life. Yeah.
All right, and sleep. I only sleep at night. Oh, there we go. Oh, I was like, but it's night. There we go. Now we're gonna fill the the hotel with people. Hello, humans. Welcome. Lovely hotel over here. Don't mind the pair. I'm very pleased to see you. Don't find me concerning in any way. I'm completely fine. <clears throat> I'm just gonna sit here and stare at my people. Alright, well I'm happy with that. Let's go down and see what we need to do for this new place. The good old A24. I know I saw a building down here. And now I assume seeming the shark has grown legs and left me. We have Beach Shark. Terry Finn. Oh, this one's cute with the wrapping. Come one, come all to the annual celebration. Finn? Join the joyous jubilation and celebration, the things that make life worth living. Our special offers and <laughs> exclusive discounts. You're not Finn. Of course I am. I'm Terry Finn. Because I get up every day feeling just terror. Terry Finn. You're a different kind of annoying. So, is it Terry or Finn? Having two first names is an egregious marketing offense that only leads to customer confusion. Parental advice material should include branding guidelines. I'm always saying that. My name is conveniently picked by a committee of advertising specialists based on current cultural and pun-friendly trends. As nature intended. Pon Voyage would like to commemorate this very sad yet lucrative past year by bringing you the festive winter spirit in purchasable form. Oh, stock update. Well, I'm a sucker for a little festive version of everyday things. Oh, look, it's all Christmas. We got all Christmassy things. We gotta work on garbage, but Christmas. Humans bring trash. Trash is clear. Tony's Construction Service. No available... <laughs> Tony's Construction Service. No available instructions. Perfect. We still talk to the shark? Oh, we have to find regular fin. Shark hunting. Someday you wake up and just smell the coffee. Hey, just a random rat. Gus! There ain't a smell in the world that can disgust me. I see you're already trying to prove me wrong. Oh, Finn. Oh, shark buddy. Shark! Shark! He's over here. Hiding. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Here we go. Press the green button. Hello again. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. Yes, you've said that. I'm already part of one. Welcome to the arid plains. The desiccated desert. We're sitting in a parking lot. The wild wasteland. I can't believe I'm following a fish suit around. The A24 is mainly the main artery of the valley. When 
Guitars hum in tunes of old country roads. This is the one they sing about. And this brand new premium habitation facility is the first and only stop for the brave explorer on the run. An oasis in otherwise barren realm. There's literally a shop across the road. Make no mistake, adventurers can't be expected to live off a tent and trail mix. They required the best <laughs> they require the best amenities. Which is the perfect point of expansion for your now chain of premium properties. I'm sensing a lot of cleanup work. You should always trust your senses. Ah, see, we did the cleanup work. We were here. Welcome to the roadside motel. Would you like to repair it? Yep, well, not really, but yep. Money good. Hank, need money. Step one, clear out of debris and garbage inside the structure. Done. Oh, there's like a little piece of trash. Bad piece of garbage. I was like, I did that. Yep. The handkerchief has been removed. Step two, gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, iron nails and stone, which we definitely have. All the materials have been acquired. Get your butt to work. Doop. Oh good, I was like, wow, that doesn't look better. I don't want that. No oh, thank you. Okay, definitely bigger. General crafting required. Front desk. And let's go see if we can get a better bed before we start really tucking in. We're right next to this. Oh, we have to talk to the shark. How's the construction site going? It's ready. Astounding. You're on your way to become the biggest hospitality developer on this side of the canyon. You are currently in position one. One out of none. Hey, that's not bad. It is certainly something. As a leisure expert, I'm sure your senses are now precisely tuned to the next step of the possibly yet not probably profitable organization. Trick the humans to come over. Trick the humans to come over. You got it. I mean, offer valued customers a room for lodging. Book guests to the motel, then return to receive completely unauthorized instructions on how to build bathrooms. Oh. Bathrooms. There you go. Bear stash. Him. Mic check one, two. What you gonna watch? You went. What you gonna do when they can hear me? Crap. <laughs> Where was the other shark? Is he over here? What's that? Oh, we need a bus sign. I'm out of bus signage. Oh, Christmassy. Oh, you can buy the shark. Oh, I want him. Glorious effigy. I guess we are building some very basic rooms. Oops, wrong button. Crafting. Build some very crappy rooms. Wait, gotta start somewhere. Keep hitting that button. Let's 
special distillery. Interesting. We're making economy friendly rooms. Poor middle guy who doesn't even get a window. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sure that my rates reflect my efforts. Did I not make a... I thought I made a front desk. For now. It's nothing to fall in love with. It's just for now. Alright, let's go talk to the shark. No? Still doesn't like it? What does it need? Build a bedroom and book... Oh, book it to a guest. guests because nothing has happened. Ah, time to sleep. <laughs> Alright, nothing about this is going to start well. Guest requests. We need people who want nothing. I offer very little. Alright. I promise to make it pretty, but it won't be today. Now the shark is happy. Why be in debt from a bank when you could just borrow from your future? Ah, green button. I've got a guest on the way. Astounding. They're in for a surprise of a lifetime. Take that as you will. Sure. Because of our premium desert location, we are freely able to exploit a common resource to their benefit and our profit. I'm not sure who is exploiting who. That's right. Water. Is mutual exploitation a thing? Due to our never-ending quest for patron excellence and unfortunate health and safety regulations, this location can support sanitary facilities which are now a key expectation for any visitor of this location. Can you guess what the next step is? You sure use a lot of words to say very few things. Correct! You must now build bathrooms for your guests. Rusted bathroom sink. Wooden shower. Crappy toilet. Oh boy. Lucky guess. Bathrooms introduce a new type of score. Bathrooms have an area effect around them that applies hygiene score to nearby bedrooms. Okay. That makes sense to me. You can see the area of effect if a bathroom is going to build mode and select the room. Higher level bathrooms have a larger area of effect for their hygiene score. Increase the level of a bathroom by placing higher level bathroom objects. 
Different guests have different hygiene requirements, so try to match them when accepting requests. Okay. New score. No, no, no. Construction bench. One of each. And let's build this room. Three by three. We'll have to figure out what the best place for those to exist is, but we got a lot of reorganizing here, so let's just get one in. Shower is really cute. That kind of cracks me up. Sink. I know I built you. There you are. Oh, it's beautiful. It's magnificent. It's a bathroom. It fills all your needs, right? Things humans do. Pee indoors, etc. All right. It's like mooching off your own future. All right. There's bathrooms now. Amazing. Now that your guest needs for immediate relief are met, we should turn our attention to the most important motivation behind renting a room in this motel. Being comfortable. Taking some time off. Repression? <laughs> That was my third guess. Recognizing the insight of our customer's motivation towards your product is key detail of modern marketing. You're doing the thing again. Why would anyone stay in this scum hole? Hey, I put a lot of work into this place. That's right, running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn shop debt collectors. Yourself. It's a little dark. Which is the perfect opportunity for one of our most popular facilities. A bar! That's worse. But not just any bar, a tasteful, sophisticated establishment. A distillery. And we have worked out a bar. And a stool. And the sturdy wooden bar recipe. How refined. <clears throat> We're going to have a lot of things to pay for here feel that. Come on, Hank. Adventure. Oh, crafting first. Boy, I'm gonna need a lot more trash to keep this exciting. Special rooms. Over here, guys. Special rooms provide extra attraction for your resort. They offer special amenities and entertainment to your guests. Some guests have demands for specific special rooms, but all guests appreciate them in general. Special rooms can be a big boost to your resort's prestige score. The distillery is a type of special room that can only be built in certain areas. It is great for those who are looking to unwind alongside some hearty spirits. It requires a bar, seating, and a dispenser to be functional. Some guests specifically look for a distillery in their accommodations. All right, let's go build this bad boy. Four, five, eight. All right. Like I said, I know I'm not placing this very well. It is because I'm not worrying about it that way just yet. Fit three stools. And a tap, tap, a tap. I built you. Tap. We will learn to make that prettier. Let's do an extra stool. See, it's just wood, and wood is very achievable. Alrighty. And we're in.
participants in the Pond Voyage and Pond Cruise programs agree to waive any claims for tar participants' personal injury or wrongful death. The most sophisticated distillery is ready. Excellent! You are one step closer to solidifying this establishment. As the premier watering hole in this entire desert, couldn't have asked for anything better. As we near the consolidation of yet another premium property, we obviously need to make sure our rigorous standards are met. Obviously. Well, Pond Voyage has new items at last. To that degree, you will need to satisfy a series of criteria. Don't we always? Isn't that what you always want from me? There we go. I'm like, why won't it let me buy from this truck? Oh, we have a new bed. Ooh. Wardrobe. Small vanity table. Alright. We're gonna go back and look at our old place. I just sort of assume this place is running itself for a hot minute. It's a beast of a place. It's going to take us a bit to get it the way we want it. That's for sure. Big. Of course, the distillery is very big, so we got to work around that, too. This guy is definitely paying our bills. new bed and we need one two three four five six of them yes I know I can do it this way I'm just keeping track five I made a bonus one. Oh well. Why will that not let me put that in? Cannot place here. It collides with old drawers. It's further away from the wall. That's why. All right, I understand. Where is that going to work? No, it sits much further away from the wall. Alright. We could probably change these ones, though. Just not the economy rooms.
The economy rooms must stay as they are. Okay, a little bit of an upgrade. Everybody went up a notch there. Now further improve your establishment. Successfully doing so will increase guest expectations for the hotel. Also increasing payout and bringing rights. And bragging rights. In order to improve this premise, you must now successfully complete the following task. Complete the stay for another plus two guests in Timber Crossing. Reward a cool new pair of pants. Would you like to accept this job? Uh, no, not at the moment. Okay, but we know that's there. We're on a hunt for loot. I just wanted some mood lighting before I said, I think we're going to stop there. It might be a little shorter episode than I like to do, but I'll come back to this very quickly because it's very fun to play. It's very fun to play. Thank you very much for joining me in Bear and Breakfast. This has been Gun Bunny, G-U-N-N -N, Bunny, and have a great morning. Goodbye.